I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. close. Well done. It's locked. Sefo had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Thanks, BD1.
You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. Can you say that? Hold that thought. What's our next destination? On our way to Zepho. You remember me. I came to Bagano looking for my former master, Eno Cordova. Hi to you too. You two must have spent a lot of time together alone on that planet. You must have left right after you were activated. Do you remember the last thing Cordova said to you? Good luck, Jedi. May the Force be with you. The log left for Cal. Nothing else? All right, kids, sit down. We're here. down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. 
Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Bubble bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of course it's under control. It's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Watch out, BD. No look friendly. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. <laughs> Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Huh? 
I'll check it out. It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. forced the villagers from their homes, frightened refugees, shipped off to work camps, or worse.
problem. Thanks, BD One. Good timing. Gotta be one of the Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? Can you slice this? <laughs> Sorry about your scoffling, but standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Oh, my God. 
I can't push it. There's a transport ship leaving the Empire's base. I heard. They plan to bring Zepho artifacts to Coruscant. Does that mean? That the Emperor is interested in Zepho? Maybe. <laughs> Villager was wounded, but took out a trooper. this. Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation to the project and leave it to the I can't keep track of them! pinpointed your location. You need to move fast. On it. Thanks.
found something. What do they know? No mention of Cordova. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then we have the advantage. For now. track. about it crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me there, beyond the storm. Follow it. Let the Force sharpen your instincts. All right. I'll do my best. these. wonder if they connect. seen a storm do that before. Yeah, it's incredible.
the earliest Zepho site we've uncovered yet, despite my reservations. I cannot chase the Bagano vault from my mind. Its vision shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. in the tomb. It's massive. And the Empire? No sign of them down here. What about Cordova? I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? <laughs> Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. See that? Ugh.
Ugh. Guess a lightsaber can't solve everything. <laughs> Focus. The Jedi do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now, try again. Push the ball before it reaches you. Continue. Faster now. Complete the test. It stands in the way, it comes the way. I did it. My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a rosha tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it.
I'm looking. Zeppo meditation rituals. I think they were training force users. 